uh, and congratulations. Welcome back to Denver. Um, what was your first reaction um, when you heard the news that you were indeed coming back? Uh, I mean, I was excited. That was my, that was my first reaction, uh, pure excitement um, and uh, just high anticipation for things to come. Go to Jacob Toby. Hey, JaVale, uh, on your Instagram story yesterday, you'd, you'd put, you know, you have three rings and then you put one more in parentheses. So, is, you know, just talk about wanting to win another championship and wanting to do it uh, with these guys in Denver. Uh, I mean, that's the goal. If that's not the goal, you're playing the wrong sport. Uh, you shouldn't even be in here. If that's not the goal to win an NBA championship, then you, you ain't ready. Uh, and I feel like this team has all the pieces. Uh, I feel like uh, they did a great job putting these guys together. And um, with the addition of me and Aaron, I just feel like uh, we have championship pedigree. Um, and, and me personally, knowing uh, it takes everything going right to win a championship. Um, like people got to stay uninjured. Uh, and it's just a lot of things that have to go right. But I feel like we have all the pieces for it to go right. Next, we'll go to Todd Romero. Hey, JaVale, welcome back. Listen, uh, as a veteran, you know the, the importance of how important it is for this team to mesh quickly, and you've done so at other stops. Is that going to help you adjust here quicker? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, it's very important for uh, the, the team to, to, to get together and, and be on the same page. Um, it's important for the players, and it's important for the coaches also. Uh, but I feel like I'm, I'm one of those players that you can stick anywhere, and uh, I'm going to uh, mesh uh, very well. <clears throat> I've been on, I don't even, I can't even calculate right now how many teams I've been on, how many trades I've been a part of. Um, but I mean, that's a part of my career and I accept it with, uh, with, with open arms. Uh, I appreciate the, 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 the challenge of, of, of building something new every time. And I, I just love winning. So um, the fact that I'm here on the winning organization and uh, I have the opportunity to, to go and try to win another one is a blessing. Next, we'll go to Pat Graham. Hey, JaVale, welcome to town again. Um, I just want to see, how do you, what do you envision your role on this team? What, have they told you anything or what do you, what do you see, what do you envision? Um, they haven't told me anything, uh, but me envisioning, uh, I envision me being a dynamic roller, uh, uh, extreme lob threat uh, on the defensive end, uh, protecting that rim, not letting anything get to the rim when I'm in the game. Um, and uh, just trying to be that uh, off the court and on the court leader um, for uh, some of the young guys who, who who haven't made it past the first round or the second round of the playoffs. Um, but I'm just trying to uh, make sure I bring that championship pedigree and uh, just uh, every day make sure that I'm doing the right things, um, ex uh, especially uh, just setting the example. Go to Chris Marlowe. Hey, JaVale, good to see you. How you doing? I'm doing well. Um, I'd like to ask you about playing with Nikola Jokic uh, in terms of what you can do together. Do you envision yourself playing alongside him? Uh, how, how do you think that would work? Uh, I think it would work perfectly, to tell the truth. Uh, just having a big out there who can uh, pass um, just so dynamically so it's not and can shoot it. So uh, just having that threat um, really spreads the floor, opens up the floor for players like me who uh, the spotlight isn't on all the time. So uh, I'll be in those spots, those open spots and, and, and being able to relieve the pressure off of him. And uh, also being able to contest every shot, knowing that uh, Nicola uh, is gonna go get the rebound. If if I uh, get out of position going to block a shot, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a great insurance policy to have behind you. Um, so, I mean, I feel like us playing together is, is, a, is a great option. I feel like it's gonna be a lot of fun, if anything. Next, we'll go to Joel Rush. Hey, JaVale. Uh, I think a lot of Nuggets fans may have, uh, you know, been very familiar with your game and kind of who you are when you were in Denver with the team, but may not have uh, followed you too closely when you were gone. But what would you say about how your game has kind of grown and developed since you were last in Denver? Um, I just feel like... Uh... Uh, I feel like the way my game is developed is uh, definitely more of a vocal leader uh, than I was when I was originally here. Um, just uh, think the game a lot more. Uh, the game's a lot slower and um, I'm just a lot more focused on one goal and just winning. Um, and that's always been my thing is winning, but it's a whole different level once you win an NBA championship and then you win another one and then you win another one. 
um, in a matter of four years. So it, it just changes your whole perspective of life and how it's supposed to be when you play basketball. Uh, not going to the playoffs doesn't seem like an option uh, when 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 you've been blessed to be in these in the the role of of a champion in, in four years and uh, three out of four years. Next, we'll go to Sean Keeler. Hey, JaVel, you, you said you like the championship elements of this team. How does this team compare to those you got rings with, and where does it have to go to, to get there, and what do you like about it? Um, comparing? Uh, I don't think it really compares. Uh, it's a whole different – the Golden State was a different animal uh, with a lot of shooters and, and a player like Steph Curry, uh, Lakers is a different animal, uh, with, with a player like LeBron and the Denver Nuggets are a different animal with a player like Nicola and Jamal Mark Murray. Um, it's just so, it's just a whole different dynamic, but in the long run, the point is to win the games. And that's what, uh, they have, uh, stamped on their backs is a winning money mentality. And uh, being able to go out there, especially in big games, and make big shots, and make big passes, and make big plays. Um, so I feel like this organization has everything that it needs. Um, it has got all the pieces to not be a building organization anymore. I feel like we're here now. Let's go to Ashley Neville. Hi, Javel. Welcome back to Denver. Um, it's I have a two-part question for you. Um, you know, Aaron Gordon has been with the same team his whole career, just got traded uh, for the first time. What is, you know, maybe some advice that you have for him in terms of getting acclimated to a new team, a new environment? And then I know um, Tim Connolly mentioned that you are, you know, a very dynamic person. Um, you're, it's, you're not just a basketball player. You have so much other things that you like to talk about. What are those other things that you like to do outside of basketball? Um, for, uh, for your first question, uh, what I, the advice I would give Aaron is just be yourself, uh, come in and, and, and be that dynamic, uh, score that you've been in Orlando. Uh, don't, 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 don't shatter your game trying to fit in, just be yourself. That's why they brought you here. Um, and then, uh, what was the second question? I'm um, just talking with Tim Connolly. He said that, um, you know, you could talk a lot more about, you know, so many different subjects, not just about basketball. So I'm curious, what are some of those other things that you like to talk about? Oof, I like to talk about a lot of things. I like to talk about Netflix shows. I like to talk about Bitcoin, crypto. I like to talk about investments. Like, I'm, I'm very well-rounded when it comes to uh, just everything, for, for real, especially technology. Uh, you need to know what the new iPhone is going to do and why it's going to be better. If you holler at me, I know everything to, to know about technology. And yeah, I'm really versed in the world of a lot of things. Go back to Mike Singer. Hey, JaVale. Um, yesterday we were talking to Malone and Malone said that the perception of the Denver Nuggets six years ago was significantly different than where it is today. You might be maybe the best equipped to answer this question, given your career trajectory. Uh, what was the perception then and, and where is it now, uh, you know, however many years later? Uh, I feel like six years ago when we would beat good teams, it was a surprise. Uh, they were like, oh, we weren't expecting that. I feel like now this team is more of on the Scott report. It says you better play harder as this team is going to destroy you. Um, and I feel like we just got even better uh, with the addition of me and Aaron um, of being a, a team that people look on the, on, on the calendar and they're not, they know this isn't going to be an easy game and they're really going to have to fight. And uh, some of their bigs are going to get in foul trouble and they're going to have to figure something out to stop the guys that are on the court. So um, I'm just glad to be here. I'm, I'm really excited uh, of things to come. Go to Pat Graham. Hey, JaVale, how's the uh, new iPhone better? No, I'm just kidding. Um, you know, with, with no practices, how long is it going to take for this team to mesh? I mean, how, how do you guys mesh? I mean, you have no time. I mean, time's of the essence. How do you mesh quickly? Uh, I mean, you, you, he, they, they, they got some pros over here. So it's not really – basketball isn't really that complicated, especially with the plays and everything. We all run the same plays with a little bit of – uh differences but it got it, they just have different names that's all we just have to know to find out what the new name is to the play we already knew our whole career so it's not really that complicated uh as being a player that's been traded plenty of times been on plenty of teams and had to mesh with different players random fact i played with over 190 players in my career but that's besides the point uh but yeah it's easy to it's for me personally it's easy for me to mesh with anybody uh i've, I've 
I, I feel like I might have been bred for this or born for this because uh, obviously my mother played basketball and I had never lived anywhere longer than two years. So I've always been in the in the continuous uh, in the continuous habit of making new friends every two years and figuring it out uh, in different parts of the world. So I can, me personally, I can adapt to anything. We'll go to Ashley Neville. Right now, uh, the Nuggets are a top 10 team in the league. Um, obviously, you know how tough the Western Conference is. Do you believe that this Denver Nuggets team with the addition of both you and Aaron have what it takes to get back to the Western Conference Finals and ultimately win a title? Yes, simple answer, yes. All right, we got time for a few more here. We'll go to Todd Romero. Hey, JaVale, a non-basketball subject. When you knew you were coming back to Denver, was there anything that popped out uh, about the city, uh, uh, like somewhere to eat, whatever the case may be, when you knew you were coming back? Um, not really. Uh, just the fact that I used to go to Chipotle a lot when I was in Denver. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's about it. Nothing, nothing crazy. Go to Mike Singer. Hey, Jabelle, what did you learn about the Nuggets, or what was your impression of the Nuggets when you saw them in the Western Conference Finals last year? Um, I, I mean, I was highly impressed. Uh, the fact, the, the way they ran through all the teams that would, they weren't weren't expected to beat uh, was very amazing, and uh, the, the fact they gave us a, a nice run for our money, also. Um, it was very impressive, and uh, I was just like, that's, that's definitely going to be a team for years to come that people are going to have to watch out for. All right, that looks to be it, JaVale. Thanks for taking the time. We appreciate it. Sure.